My first guest tonight is a terrific actor. He is in the best show on television right now. The best, I'm show, not, on the best show on television. It's, uh, have you got Netflix? Yeah, hell yeah. All right, hell it's yeah. uh, called Peaky Blinders. Yeah, that's right. It's, yeah. about, uh, it's about a criminal gang in, in Britain at the end of the First World War. Right. It's like, I watched it, I was like, what the? Tootsie Frootsie. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a... That, that's how they speak in Peaky Blinders! <laughs> the hell, man? I thought I'd try and sneak it in. Yeah, it didn't, didn't work. Didn't. Anyway, Peaky Blinders uh, seasons one and two are on Netflix. Take a look at this. That is a great show. Yeah. Gillian Murphy, everybody. Gillian Murphy. Congratulations. I, I, I am not kidding. I, I came in uh, one day and said to everybody, I didn't, before I even knew you were on, I said, you've got to see this show. It's amazing. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, you, Thank uh, you. Are you, uh, were you aware when you were putting it together of just how crazy this thing is? Ah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, no, I mean, this, I read the first two scripts. Right. You know, and this... That's your mistake. Never do that as an actor. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you go off the name alone, it doesn't reveal much. You know? I know. I thought it was about dancing or no, something. You really, know. you can't tell. Right. Um, but it was so compelling and so unusual and unique. And uh, yeah, I, so I was, yeah, hooked immediately. The, uh, the name Peaky Blinders is the name of the gang, yeah. right? And it, they were a real gang in Birmingham. Is that right? That's right, yeah. And I mean, the, <laughs> the name... Kind of the clue is in the title, I guess, but they had these, they, you know, the f peaked caps, peaked caps which yeah. is like the uniform of the working class in right. Britain and Ireland. And so they, but they used to um, sew razor blades into the peak of the cap and that So that they could, yeah, 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 yeah take your, because yeah. they used to do that in Glasgow in the razor right. gangs. They would sew them into the lapel. So when yeah. you grabbed somebody, you'd lose your fingers. Yeah, uh, it's um, not pleasant. No, it's not. And that's why I moved into comedy. <laughs> <laughs> But what's interesting to me is uh, you're Irish, clearly, yeah. and you play someone from Birmingham who's interacting with a lot of Irish people. Yes. Do you ever uh, sit with an actor and think, that's not very good, that accent you're doing? Well, the thing about this was that everybody was doing different accents. Right. Everybody, like, I was doing Birmingham. The Irish char characters were like, you know, the Annabel Wallace who plays Irish. She's like, from, she's raised in Portugal. Sam Neill. He's a, um, a Kiwi, he's playing Belfast. Sam Neill's accent is great Good in this, end. isn't it? Yeah, he, he that, sounds a bit like Ian Paisley. Does yeah, Paisley. is that what he did? Is that what the accent he was looking at? I think at? he was going for a bit of that. Right. Yeah, fire and brimstone. Kind it's of really weird. That it's such an odd show. It's like, it's like The Wire made by Kurosawa in Britain at the turn of the century. It's nuts. It's a great description. Well, like it, it. it kind of is. It's like just it. bananas. Yeah. And I, uh, what I'm fascinated by as well is that it's a, it's a working class story. That's the thing. You see, I think in Britain, um, for ages, like the sort of the upper middle class and the aristocracy are so well represented in drama, but never really the working. Right, class. it's all Downton Abbey. Was, ah, I say, <laughs> Charles, no, <laughs> 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 absolutely. <laughs> a lot of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot of that. And the thing is, in America, the working class are kind of mythologized, you know, right. like in gangster shows, and and uh, so we hadn't really done that. So it was kind of, a, you know, it was time for that to happen. I think. And Winston Churchill, the uh, com is a character, not a sympathetic yeah. character in the show. Not really, either. no. No, he did some bad stuff as well as some great stuff. Churchill, right? Yeah. You know? I mean, it was uh, the thing about uh, Churchill is people forget because they used to say in Britain, "I don't know if he's the right man, but he was the right man for the job yeah, then." Exactly. Which they also used to say about Stalin. <laughs> you know, it's like. Yeah. It's like the, you know, it, to stop Hitler, you needed a, a kind of neutron bomb like that. Yeah. But it was, uh, it's, a, it's an astonishing, because my, my grandfather hated Winston Churchill. Right. And you never, you never got that because he put machine guns uh, out in George Square in Glasgow when they, were, they thought there was going to be a revolution yeah. after, well, before the First World War and then during and after. Yeah, he's, he wasn't a very popular man in Ireland back then. Oh, no, 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 I suppose but, not. But I think, um, I think in, like, my character, what my character sees in him in the show is that he did go to the trenches and he did. He was, that's true, you know, he was uh, the real deal. Yeah, yeah so you've got to hand that to him. But, yeah, it's fascinating to have somebody like that as a main, or a, a featured character in a show 
like that, you know, a major historical figure. Now, the, the character that you play, yeah. is, uh, was he a real guy? Did he really exist? There was a Shelby family, um, yeah. In fact, the writer Steve Knight is from Birmingham, so... Right. And he, you know, all these stories were passed down to him through his parents, through his... I think his mother was like a runner for, for an illegal bookmaking gang. Good Lord. So, so he had them as a child, and uh, these, these memories, and, and he wanted to tell this story. And so this family did exist, and he always used to remember them as being incredibly dapper, despite not having much money and, you know, um, and, and very fierce. And, and then he just, I suppose, expanded that and created... Right, and goes into his own uh, Roman play. Yes. Uh, you like. What about uh, the horse riding? You do some... Is that you riding that horse? That is... Uh, <laughs> it's not, is it? <laughs> no. No. It is. It's, it's a real horse. Um, and... Um, you see that? Yeah. Yeah. They do it right. Uh, yeah. He's a, he's a real horse, and uh, he was, um, yeah, we had to, I had to do bareback riding. I saw it in the very first yeah. scene of the first episode, when you ride, because my, my, my wife is big on horses. Oh, right. And okay. she's watching, and she's going, oh, he's, he's good, he can actually do it. Well, it's like, oh, so we get to watch it then? Well, it's, yeah. it's, the, <laughs> it's that classic actor thing of, you know, do you fence, do you ride horses, do you drive a car? Yes, of course I do. But you don't, you know, I can't do any of those things. Can you drive a car? I have recently learned how to drive a car. Is that true? Yeah. But it's because you live in London? Yeah. Yeah, I see, I lived in London. There's no need to have a it's, car in London. It's a waste of time. It's just yeah. a way to get parking tickets. A kind of yeah. Place, yeah. Whereabouts in London do you live? General kind of... Uh, I live in Queen's Park. Do you know? Uh, I used to live in Hartland no. Road. Really? Yes! Oh, just is... next to the subway station well, uh, or like... the London Underground. That is mad. I used to go to the, uh, the discount chicken place right on the corner. It's now a uh, Mr. Fish. Oh, well, there you are. I can, yeah. Although, <laughs> and I'm now a vegan, so well, I then. can't, yeah. Do you ever do that? Do you ever do the vegans? No, I'm not. I, I can't. I was vegetarian for like, like 12 years. What was, happened? Bacon sandwich? No, it, it was, it was, uh, it wasn't the bacon sandwich. It was, I, I went like, I went venison. I had, venison? Yeah. You flash bastard. I know. <laughs> And I felt amazing afterwards. What, you ate Bambi? <laughs> yeah. For 12 years you didn't eat meat and then you ate Bambi? It tasted so good. We'll be right back with Killian Murphy, everybody. Killian Murphy. Kelly and Murphy, and uh, we were talking about the Peaky Blinders, which is the best show on television, with the exception of all the great shows on uh, CBS. And, <laughs> but you still live in London. I do. Yeah. And do you make the show in London, or do you make it in Birmingham? No, we, we don't make it in Birmingham because the Birmingham of that period was just doesn't exist. It was bombed out of existence. Yeah, in the war, yeah. I suppose planning as well. Right. Raise a lot of it to the ground, so we we shoot it in Manchester and Liverpool. Right, yeah. the, uh, the, because the, the accent, the Birmingham accent, is actually very hard. Yeah. It's one of those ones that people, if they get it slightly wrong, they go into Pakistani. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or South African. Or South African is like, yeah. hello, I'm from <laughs> Birmingham. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Uh, it is. And it's to sort of make it sound cool as well. Or not cool, but, you know, if you're a gangster, it's important to have some element of... Yes, yeah, not that we are for a moment suggesting that a life of crime is cool. No, 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 no. No, no. Although we don't make movies about people who just live normal, happy lives. This is it. <laughs> do you ever read a script and go, nah, this guy's too much of a bastard, I can't do it? Uh, yes, yeah. I mean, I think, and it's great fun playing like a down the line bad guy, but it, what's much more interesting is someone that's like a comp, you know, a mixture of moral ambiguity. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and it seems no. to be that like. Uh, that seems to be the way telly is moving. It's all about, like, you know, the sort of the anti-hero and... Uh... Well, I think television now is because most people that go, that used to go and see thoughtful movies don't go and see thoughtful movies. Yeah. They stay home and they watch they thoughtful watch movies on, on uh, television. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. So movies now are like, you know, uh, shoot them up, rock and sock them, you know, or kids movies, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, you ever done one of them? Which one? Well, the 28 Days uh, Later thing. Oh, yeah. yeah that, was, uh, that was good fun. A lot of zombie action in that. A lot of zombies in that. You took your complete uh, clothes off. You, did, you went I, full Kardashian I, in that movie. 
<laughs> yeah, I did do that. Yes, thanks. Now, everyone will be like Googling that right you now. Find it on the internet. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to use Google. You can use whatever search engine is legal exactly. on CBS. <laughs> so, do you have a pet? I, I have a cat, yes. Oh, really? A cat, yeah. you say? Yes, I do. It's got a cat. Uh, he's, he's a ginger cat. <laughs> You have no idea what kind of cat he is, do you? <laughs> so you have a cat, and you live in London, and you have children? I do. How many? I have two boys. Well, that's enough. Yeah, it is. I have two boys, too. Do you? How yeah. old? 13 and 3. Oh, wow. This is yeah, Scottish people ejaculate once every 10 years. <laughs> it's like, you know these big orchids in the jungle that every, once every 10 years just poof, yeah. like that? And whoever's around uh, gets pregnant. Wow. And that's, that's... I thought it was the same with the Irish. N n um, it can be, I think, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got lucky, I guess, um, yeah. What age are your kids? They're, they're nine and seven, so... So you go uh, yeah. right back to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it took two years, but I did it. So, yeah, no, good yeah. for you. Uh, and that's it, no more. So your boys go to school there, are they going to be actors, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I Would you like them to be actors? I don't think you can really stop it, can you? No, you can't. Uh, no, you is can't. the thing. I mean... Yeah, as long as they're not goths, I don't mind. <laughs> not what? Goths. Goths? As in G-O-T-H-S. Oh, goths! Yeah. I, yeah. Uh, we don't do T-H's very well in Ireland. No, no, no. no. Yeah. And I've been here so long that I didn't understand a word of what you said. <laughs> yeah. What part of Ireland are you from? Cork. Ah, that's down the bottom. Yeah, down I know south. where it is. Yeah. Yeah. My family are from Donegal. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful there. Yeah, no, I think so, yeah. yeah. I've never been to Cork, except the airport. Haven't you? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's the second county in Ireland. It's very oh, beautiful. Oh, there you are. And yeah, it's kind of like Birmingham, you know, the second city syndrome. But uh, it's be beautiful. Do you do theatre in that very swanky theatre in Dublin? What's it called? The... Uh, Which one? That, there's a, that very famous theatre in Dublin. The, the Gaiety? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? The yeah. Abbey. Uh, the Abbey is the Abbey. Thinking. The Abbey, the National Theatre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, no, I've never worked in the Abbey, actually. But you, do you, you do a lot of theatre. I do a lot of theatre, yeah, but I've never, I had never worked in the Abbey. Do you do the Shakespeare? I have never done Shakespeare. See, oh, it's about time, son. Do you think? Ah, uh, it's about time. It's a high deedly dee Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of a bit of a. I never trained, so I might be a little like anxious about the whole Shakespeare thing. Well, you know? I think that sometimes though, if you look at Shakespeare, what, I mean, I was just thinking about the show you've done. Yeah. Right. And if you look at that Peaky Blinders show, and season three has just been announced, right? That's right. Right. So congratulations Thank on you. that. That's great. But the, the. Uh... Thank you. <laughs> No, I was kind of like, you guys are like, um, oh, all right. <laughs> we haven't seen it yet, so we don't know if we're happy about it. But um, I think that a naturalized approach to, uh, to, uh, to stories which have been told more than once is a very good idea. Yeah, that's and, true. And, and when you look at the, uh, that period in history, with that na what's the name of the director, the guy who put it together? Otto Bathurst. Um, yeah, he, he he's a bit of a star. That, he's very, that very good. He's very talented. And yeah. he directed the first three. And then Tom Harper directed the second three. And then that's Colin just McCarthy. the same two guys over and over, and over again? Uh, no, Colin McCarthy did the second season, second block. All right, I haven't seen the second season yet. Yeah, it's good. It gets it gets darker. It gets kind of gets wild. Gets darker? Yeah, man. Yeah, it gets kind of yeah. If that's wow, possible. that's kind of like the Coen Brothers get a little weird later <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I should look forward to it. I really am taken with it. I think it's the, the most exciting piece of television I've seen in years. Oh, you're very good. And you are spectacular in it. Thank and you, anybody man. who knows anything about this show knows I don't do the crack with actors, <laughs> but you are really good. Man. Well, I appreciate it. That, that was awesome. Killian Murphy, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, There's some harmonica. Sweet. And will, uh, you, will you drum? You can drum. I'll drum. Well, Ooh, I like drumming. Here, do you like that? We both have drums. Give them the thing. Do you like? Can, can you do this? You know, Mike Longo taught Benny Wallace this thing from Dizzy Gillespie. Here it is. Wait, wait, wait. We listen to it. It's. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> wait a minute. I'm D. <laughs> it goes like this. Bop, 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 bop. Now listen. Now watch. Now watch. <laughs> 